Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Gain. Rushing to get out of here because I got orders I'm getting out. Interesting thing, I'm going to tell you something. Our orders have started picking up like crazy, and I'll tell you why. This is more orders than usual than we're used to getting in because, like I said, that is actually, uh, we got 10 more orders behind that one right there. And then we got orders over here going out. I got wallpaper screen shipping out. Uh, orders have been picking up like crazy. And I'll tell you why. Because when I showed in that demonstration how we had SL screens, how they came, how the first they were interested in our technology. But then when things didn't go right, um, how they came at us with uh, some a lawyer to basically stay away from their technology, from doing any side-by-side -side demonstrations. That raised a lot of curiosity on people at, trying to figure out why would a big company like SL Screens be interested in anything that we're working on. So it just gives you an idea of exactly um, um, if our product, you know what I mean? And like I said, it shows curiosity that it must have been something there to catch your eye. Same thing as when we have particular individuals who want to try to slander our technology or bring hatred against our technology. Anytime somebody's working that hard uh, to try to slander or try to tear down what we do, it just shows a level of jealousy, a level of basically someone threatened by what we do. So thank you so much for the video reviews because you pushed the orders through the roof. So right now I got these coming in and I got about 20 more of these to go, but I'm trying to get these out as fast as possible. So this is what I'm going to show you really quick in the demonstration. So this right here, I bought downstairs from my Optima GT 5500, uh, um, 55, 5600 projector. This projector was 1100 lumens when I bought it. Uh, this projector is uh, 3,000 lumens, 20,000 to 1 contrast. It is a full 1080p projector. This one over here is my NEC projector. It is a DLP 720p projector. This projector has 10,000 to 1 contrast. Just showing you when it comes to our technology that it doesn't make a difference if you have a 720p or if you have a 1080p projector, whether it be ultra short throw, whether it be short throw, it is going to look incredible on our product, even in a fully lit environment. And keep in mind, this screen was actually painted on stucco. We used stucco, this was a stucco wall that I painted over. And you can see we're either on the short throw or when I come over on the long throw, I mean short, ultra short throw, the angle is going to pick up regardless. And you can see how much ambient light we have in the environment. And both screens look absolutely incredible. I'm gonna drop the lights really quick and then I'm gonna get these packages packed up and we can, I gotta get out the door real quick to get all this done for the day because it's gonna be a busy day for the day and tomorrow. So I'll show you right here with the lights out. And this is 1080p next to 720p. And it's just to show you with our technology, it doesn't make a difference if you have long throw, doesn't make a difference if you have short throw, ultra short throw, it is going to look incredible on our technology. You don't have to spend a lot of money for a projector. This projector right here cost me $123. This projector over here cost me $1,100. Look at the screens. Ten eighty P, seven twenty P, three thousand lumens. This one has thirty five hundred lumens. Keep in mind, twenty thousand to one contrast, ten thousand to one contrast. Optima GT fifty six hundred, and this right here is my NEC M three fifty two WS. And look at this. This is how amazing our technology looks. So I'm showing you ultra short throw, short throw, doesn't make a difference. The Casio projector was laser. That's a laser projector. Pretty soon I'll have my Panasonic projector in here. All right, I got to fly. I got to get out the door. Thank you all for your time. Our screen paint's available on our website with free worldwide shipping. As I told you before, no one does demonstrations on our level. Let me show you something really quick, real fast. We'll come over here to uh, bring this video up real quick. I like this LG demonstration.
gonna go back, to keep going back to this video because like I said, where is the controller to the PS4? That's one thing I can never find. My controller to the PS4. There we go. We got short throw, ultra short throw. Let me show you something right here. This is why I tell you that light gray screen paint, it's not worth the money. It's not worth your time and your money. Here we are, I'll show you right here. This projector has a 10,000 to one contrast. Even within the dark, you can't pick it up on a light gray screen paint or a gray screen paint. They cannot pick it up because they have no contrast. Now you can check out the projector I have over here, my NEC M352WS, check out the specifications, it's 10,000 to 1 contrast. So even if you have a 10,000 to 1 contrast, 3,500 lumens, even at 720p, you still can't pick it up. Let me come over here, let's go over here to the Optima GT5600, which is using a 20,000 to 1 contrast. Twenty thousand to one contrast doesn't even pick up on a light gray screen on ultra short throw at three thousand lumens, and this is with the lights out. It's not even with the lights on. All right, let's go upstairs. Turn my lights on because I got to get ready to skedaddle out of here. And there you are. Doesn't even show up. Lights on, of course, because light gray screens do not have ambient light rejection. They don't have it. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I have to get out of here. God bless.